Some fierce storms rolled through the region tonight, Grant. Yeah, really just Ooh. rolled through, and there was a lot of severe weather across the area. Take a mm. look at these photos out of Lawrence Township. This is up in wow. Mercer County there in New Jersey. Storms actually knocked over cars in parking lots of a post office. Scary stuff there. National Weather mm. Service will head out to the area tomorrow to conduct a storm survey and try to figure out what happened out My there. What, was it a tornado or was it just strong straight line winds? National Weather Service, uh, they'll get an idea of, of exactly what happened. They hope to have that uh, report put together sometime tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. Much calmer across the area right now, though, though we are still tracking a few showers. In fact, some rain interrupted the Phillies game down in in Baltimore earlier this evening. Don Bell just stepping in and says they're still playing, so we'll see how things end up. But look here, a 71 degrees out there um, right now. It is comfortable out there compared to earlier this afternoon when we saw a high temperature of 90 degrees. Dew points are in the 50s still. We'll get the dry air to bring in that lower humidity as we go into the day tomorrow. Look how those temperatures spiked earlier this afternoon. All that heat, all that humidity fueling those showers and storms. And once the rain arrived, boop. Temperatures just plummeted. Many of us actually dropped into the 60s before briefly rebounding into the lower 70s. All right, we got a few of those lingering showers across South Jersey right now. Some of them still producing some heavier rainfall. A couple of thunderstorms moving away from the Baltimore area that will move into Delaware here within the next uh, probably 20 to 30 minutes. There's our cold front. There's the drier air and cooler air behind it. 69 in Pittsburgh right now, 66 in Detroit. This will be a short lived cool down for us. High pressure sliding in from Canada. It will not hang around long. There goes the front. There goes the showers and storms for us overnight. We'll start tomorrow morning with temperatures in the low and mid 60s. Look at your Saturday. Beautiful conditions, mostly sunny skies, temperatures near maybe just slightly warmer than normal in the low to middle 80s. We'll do a repeat of that on Sunday. Just a touch warmer for dad on Father's Day with highs near 85. Look at that morning low when you're getting breakfast ready for dad Sunday morning <laughs> 61 degrees to start off maybe open up the windows give the AC a break because it'll be working hard next week look at these high temperatures Monday Tuesday Wednesday low mid 90s 94 Thursday 96 degrees on Friday we're running all the way into next weekend that's a seven day stretch with temperatures above normal that's a seven day heat wave the last time that we had a spring heat wave this long was back in May and June of 1991 when it was a nine day stretch, one of the longest that we've ever recorded here in Philadelphia. So we'll be rivaling that next week. Enjoy the relatively mild temperatures tonight. Once we get these storms out of here, we'll bottom out around 66 degrees. So clearing conditions overnight. Check out the seven day forecast as we put it all together for you. There's your beautiful weekend. It's not going to be awful on Monday, but that heat will get old fast, especially when you look at those overnight lows only bottoming out in the low and mid 70s, high temperatures in the low and mid 90s, and that takes us all the way up to the first day of summer on Thursday with high temps around 94. Ooh, Guys, back over to you. How about that?